What's going on guys, it's JVH here, and welcome back to another video. And today guys, I hope you all had a great, of course, you know, opening day weekend, if you went to Hershey Park for opening weekend. But today we are going to talk about a few things um, that, of course, happened for course of opening weekend. Some news and updates, as I saw on people's, you know, different stories and everything, because it looks like it was a nice, fun weekend, but crazy. However, let's go ahead and let's get started. Alright, and of course, the first thing is, of course, the old amphitheater, as you can see on this photo. Of course, you know, it is currently being demolished. Um, as here, you can see all the seats are all gone. Um, it's like It looks like they're slowly going to be, you know, updating this area. You can still see the stage um, as well. Um, to me, this is a little sad just because, you know, I grew up, you know, seeing some shows on here they always had some great shows on the stage special guests over the years um closely growing up so it is sad to see this go um now of course you know this space you know was occupied by of course creature the creature's house or dark knights so currently i don't know if this if it will still be there um by the end of this year for dark knights when it dark knights hits in september or october they're going to still use that um, space or not or will the house be moved to another area because there is something brand new come of course now there are of course you know two signs that are out front um, on top of um, going to kissing tower hill um, they have a fence up of course that they always had up and of course now they put two signs up of course this one says don't mind us we're twisting something up so i'm assuming this probably might be a brand new flat ride that could be coming in 2025. I don't see it happening, you know, getting this done by, you know, opening weekend 2024. I think this is a 2025 project. Um, of course, this sign says construction is in full swing. So there are clues of what this is going to be. So, of course, the first clue is said about twisting. So I'm assuming it's going to be something with Twizzler, because Twizzler is featured here as the character. And of course, this sign, of course, when it says full swing, think of the swing, swing type flat ride. So I'm th assuming it's going to be a, a swing type flat ride that's going to be coming. So my guess it's going to be a ride kind of like this, like one of these big giant slings. This is uh, Skyhawk at Cedar Point. Um, a lot of parks have, you know, this type of new ride. This is basically a big giant swing. And I just feel like this could be the ride that could be coming to Hershey Park in 2025. Alright everyone, and then moving on to our next topic, of course, the Overlook Food Court, you know, um, at Kissing Tower Hill, right across from, of course, the Triple Towers, it has gotten a major update and overhaul and refurbished. So it looks really, really nice, you know, it looks, you know, nice and bright with the, all the colors, um, the lighting fixtures look really nice, so like I said, probably makes it, you know, really like a nice contemporary type atmosphere and look. Um, I love the theming in it because you can see all the Hershey Park theming that they added throughout um, here. I'm excited to definitely check it out when I when we go when I visit next month or April I should say this month because we're in April now. Um, of course they have you know nice new drink fixtures there as well. So of course you know very nice to hopefully make the flow of traffic move throughout that area. So really nice. All right, and the last topic I'd like to talk about. Um, I forgot to actually mention this in my. Uh, last uh, 2024 video um so of course this year is of course um according to this article it is new hershey park entertainment and 50 years of the hershey characters so 2024 marks of course the 50th anniversary of the hershey characters and apparently this year there will be of course a new uh, show that will be coming inside the music box theater so of course this is going to be the first show back that's of course since um 2019 so so before COVID, so that is the last time you know Music Box had a show in the summertime. If you do look back, of course, of last Halloween during for Dark Nights and Halloween at Hershey Park, there was a show at, um, of course, Music Box Theater, and that was the Shake Rattle and Glow, you know, Monster Dance, Monster Dance Party uh, Ball, and of course that was inside the Music Box Theater, and that was the first show back inside the Music Box since 2019. So it's definitely good that Hershey Park is definitely, you know, getting, of course, you know, this space back and, you know, definitely going to use this for shows. Like I said, I know a lot of people have been begging and begging for, you know, 
first shows to come back inside, of course, the music box. And, you know, it's really good that they're finally, you know, listening to everyone and definitely getting back. Because especially in the summertime, it definitely helps with crowd control um, as well. You know, of course, you know, when it's how hot outside, of course, people want to come inside the music box. Of course, enjoy, you know, get out of the hot, hot sod and to cool off a bit and see a nice show. Um, like I said, because I did know that, of course, the one for Halloween time, uh, it was really successful. Like I said, it, I heard some good reviews about it um, through some people, and it was just really good. And I just hopefully it would keep being better and better as the shows, you know, progress. As they definitely keep using this space, because um, it is a really, really nice space for a theme park to have a nice theater like the like the Music Box Theater. Um, I remember growing up, I used to always see shows besides the amphitheater here at the Music Box. But mostly, I, mean, I remember uh, seeing at the old Music Box Theater before they redid it. It was a little smaller, but this is the, of course the bigger one, and they, of course it's so nice that they redid it. But yeah. Alrighty everyone, well I hope you enjoyed this video today, so we talked about a few topics of what's new from opening weekend. I'm super excited to come back very soon, like a couple weeks I'll be there, and I'll be going on Saturday and Sunday, both days, uh, to the park, so I'll cover everything what's new to see it in person for myself, but excited to go on Skyrush and Comet, try those new trains out. But anyway, I hope you guys have a good rest of your day, I'm JBH, and of course until the next adventure, I'll see you guys real soon. See us.